What's going on? This is Yadi Alameen. This is Joy Abraham. And this video is about empowerment versus, well, everything in our modern culture. Um, so, one of the hardest things to do in this, I would say, in this first world, right, is to get somebody to give you a straight answer. Mm. Okay? In terms of health, which is pretty much all I deal with, health and wellness, right? You better have some straight answers. Like, you don't want to deal with a <laughs> system that's systematized to make everything systemic. How many times do you get a straight answer, though? You go to whoever. It doesn't, and I'm not talking about Western medicine only. I'm talking about, you know, alternative care, whatever. Some, you say, well, okay, uh, this is what's going on, you know, what's wrong with me? Now, the person who makes the decisions, the doctor or the therapist, isn't somebody you get to sit and talk with. They just come in to do the work. Yeah. When you call, you're talking to a secretary or you're talking to an assistant or you're talking to a company that leaves messages and the decision maker will call you back. I was sick, very sick, and so sick that I didn't have any more patience and I, didn't, I, I really didn't have the time to wait for a decision maker to call me back. So I became the decision maker. Hmm. So this is what I do. For people, you know, this kind of comes on the heels of me saying that, you know, customer service sucks. <laughs> it doesn't suck. I mean, it's part of what we do. I mean, we have to talk to you. But the thing is, if I'm talking to you, it's because I'm going to do something. If you're on the other end of a phone and you're saying, well, I'll have the doctor call you back. I'm over here physically in pain or whatever it is. I don't want you to call me back. I want you to fix it now. So I'm giving people what they want, which is what? The ability to do something, which is power. It's power in, in actual definition is the ability to produce work. So hmm. are you making them the decision maker themselves? I'm helping them make those decisions based on things that, that help. You know, if, if I do something that doesn't work, it's not helping, right? If I do something that does work, it is helping. If you can feel a measurable difference, then it's helping. And now you are in a position where you can decide to do it, you know. So it's not that I'm making decisions for you. I'm just giving you something to decide instead of do I depend on this person or that person. That's empowerment. Now the whole system of, of uh, you know, economics and, and everything else is just set up to where you don't grow anything. Your country doesn't grow anything. <laughs> you don't know anything. Somebody will call you back. Who knows? I'm, I'm so vehemently opposed to this because it's so disempowering. And yeah. those who trust the channels that they're going through and say, well, it's okay, they'll call me back, has never known what it's like to be that filled with fear and that filled with panic to where you don't have time. When you make a 911 call, that's, that's an instant gratification, right? No. Somebody is filtering what you're saying and, and relaying it, and you're going to have to explain it to somebody else. The people who do something, those are, that's who power belongs to. Hmm. So oh. if you do something yourself, are you empowering yourself? Yeah, I think so. I think you are empowering yourself. If I give you the ability to, to understand your own condition, if I help you refine your own ability, and I help you refine your own ability to fix it, I feel like that's empowering. If somebody says... Okay, I need help with A, B, and C, and, and I, I'm good. I've got this scheduled for you. It's not you scheduling that gets it done. It's the person who comes out and, and does it. And usually because I'm in a service, a physical service, I work for the people who are busting their behinds trying to do the things that you make phone calls for. The technicians, the service people, the people who do manual labor. Those are my clients. You know, I do have clients who work in middle management, that kind of thing. But honestly... They're not the ones that take it as seriously. They, they think this is some kind of elective fun thing that they do. <laughs> the people who are the most dependent on it, they need that power because they can't deal with without it. So, yeah, I mean, I have a strong opinion about going through a system. My body has systems. It has seven of them. And if I don't understand the systems, I don't need another system set up to explain <laughs> somebody else what I don't understand about myself. So you're saying an external system is not going to help you understand the internal system? Well, you know, it could give you a map, you know, but in the end, you're going to have to move your body to get to, you know, if you are here on the map 
and that's what the system is telling you, this is the map, you're still going to have to move. You're still going to have to do something to get from whatever point to whatever point. So it's not that they don't help, but in the end, this world belongs to those who move their behind, not just their mouth. Anyways, this is Yadi. Enjoy. Be well and stay well.